three, two, one. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Puff and Steph with you. Hey, friends. What's up, Steph? How are you? Hey, happy Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. I don't even know what day it is, right. but no, I'm pretty good. Yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. It's it's a day. Right, you're, whatever day it you're is. You're good. want to thank everyone for joining us uh, last night, Tuesdays with Olivia. Always a good time. Uh, today, I want to remind everybody that a new Puffs Pantry is coming out. Would you like to hear what I'm making, Steph? Oh, you're going to make me hungry. Yes. Today is a chicken Parmesan sandwich on garlic bread. Ooh, chicky parm. That sounds so good. Yeah, so that'll be up on our Facebook page at some point today. It is Wednesday, and it is time for a Would You Rather. This one, maybe it's tough, maybe it's not. I see pros to all of them, and I do see a couple of cons here or there. Are you ready for it? Yes. Would you rather be able to teleport anywhere or be able to read minds? So would you want to be able to teleport or be able to read minds? Ooh, I feel like... I'm way too sensitive and I'm aware of it, so it's fine. Um, if I could read minds and people were thinking bad things about me, I would just burst into tears. So I don't think that would be good for my mental health. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's, you know what? Knowing, knowing that, knowing that about yourself is important, I think, when answering these questions. Uh, yeah. I get what you're saying because some people are ultra sensitive to things. And let's say you're out with a group of your friends and one of your friends thinks, wow, Steph's hair seems kind of flat today or out of place or, <laughs> oh man, I think it's time she tweezes her eyebrows or something, com- just something in the grand scheme of things does not matter. Like, Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Is that how it would be? Yeah, exactly. And I guess I wouldn't be able to tell people that I had these abilities, I'm assuming. So I would have to just like keep it to myself. And I'm not like that kind of person. I need to talk to people about things. And while I was trying to vent to somebody, they'd probably be judging me and thinking bad things. And that would just make it even worse. (laughs) I definitely could not handle it. I overthink everything as it is. It would be kind of cool to know what people are thinking sometimes, but People can't help but notice your flaws and things like that. So even somebody who loves and adores you might look at you and go, oh, that outfit does not look good on her. Not being mean, but it's just what they think. And I think that that would kill me. I couldn't do it. Maybe if you're able to turn it off. Maybe maybe if you can turn it on and off when you want to. That would be nice. Like like you like if you're on a date with a guy, you want to see how he really feels, what he's really thinking. Maybe you turn it on. But if you're out to dinner with your friends maybe you just like i want to enjoy this and not ruin it because it's not just you because think about like you could look perfect that night and no one would ever even think a bad thought about you but what if your friend stacy thinks something bad about your friend ashley and then all of a sudden you know a secret that stacy thinks this way about ashley and now you're like Great. Now I have this inside me too. I know about this. Right. And how could you? Because Ashley's wonderful in every way. That's not that what I heard. Too- Stacy was like, oh my God, Puff, have you heard about Ashley? Oh my God. <laughs> Ashley's wonderful. Yeah, there's no way that I could handle that. I'm way too sensitive and I feel things way too deeply. I would much rather be able to teleport. I would just go down to Florida in the warm weather all the time. Like, be like, Mom, I'm just going to go down and see Michael for a little bit. I'll see you later. Hi, Michael. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, be perfect. you're busy today? Okay. Mom, Michael was busy, so I'm just going to hang out here. Right. How amazing would that be? So much better than having your feelings hurt every single day by your friends. <laughs> <laughs> for once, Steph was looking at the negative side of something. It was kind of crazy. Yes. A little weird. So, what was you pick? Oh, that, I probably should answer that, huh? Um, to be honest, I'm a little bit more torn than you are because I really just, I just, I like calling people out. Nope, you're a liar. Nope, lies. Why aren't you going to tell people about that time, that thing you did in Vegas, John? I know about it. You know, you know what I mean? Like, um, but I would be able to tell, I would want to teleport if I can like teleport with someone. 
right? So if I was like, if I could like grab the wife by the hand and we could teleport to Spain or something, you know what I mean? Right. Or the dog, pick up the dog and be able to teleport the dog to someplace. That would be cool, yeah. Not the beach though, there's sharks there. Oh, that's right, you don't like the beach. I'll go for you, I volunteer. You hear about, <laughs> you're about the shark attack death in California over the weekend? What? Yep. You're making that up. Are people even allowed to go to beaches? Sure. Wow. And a shark was like, hey, welcome back. Om, nom, 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 nom. Oh, that's awful. I had no idea. Yep. So don't be so excited to go to the beach. COVID claims another victim. The Miss America pageant organizers have decided to move the next pageant to next year. We are going to be without a Miss America pageant for this year. Aw. Uh, how will we ever get by? <laughs> have you... Uh, do you or any like have you did you ever do a pageant or did any of your friends ever do a pageant? No, I was never a pageant girl. Me and all my friends all just did sports and that was so time consuming. The pageant life is like a whole other level and I feel like it's very time consuming as well. Sure. I never get sure. it. Yeah, me neither. Uh one thing you could think of uh that would be bad because of social distancing, right? So think about a specific product that would be suffering right now because people are being told to stay apart. It's kind of a little mini stump step. Ooh, something a, a that is- A specific product whose sales have decreased and they're blaming social distancing 100%. Is it some kind of like STD cream or something? No. <laughs> well, people no. are together. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about everyday social distancing. I'm t Ooh, like, I, I, yeah, I'm talking about like people you walk by in a store. I mean, I don't know how you say hello to people, <laughs> but but me personally, I'm I don't yeah I don't have to worry about that as much. Um, so yeah, think think way less intimate. Oh okay, just something casual. Yeah. So it's something that happens when two people are near each other. Um, it, it's something that involves when is involved when two people are near each other. That the product people don't see a need for it as much anymore. Perfume. You're close. It's gum and mint sales. Oh, I, that totally makes sense. Why bother? You're yeah. Just with your family. With more people staying home, communicating through digital channels, and aiming to maintain the six feet distance, fresh breath has declined in importance. Wow, that's so funny. I didn't, and I wouldn't have even thought of that. Yeah, but you thought of STD cream. <laughs> well, I thought you meant because people weren't I, like going yeah. out to the bars and meeting other people. I feel you. I feel you. Um, usually, the 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 fresh breath, the mint, the gum, um, you don't get the STD if you didn't have fresh breath at first. That's true. No, that's true. Somebody's at your door. Do you want to get it, or are they just outside? <laughs> No, it's a squirt groundhog. Oh, it's a groundhog. Oh, okay. There's a groundhog outside, everybody. Okay, all right. <laughs> so he gets very excited. Yeah, so the new report says gum and mint sales are down 40% since the pandemic. Right, because nobody's like, I got to freshen my breath to lay on the couch and cuddle with my dog. <laughs> no, no, you can just have nasty breath like your dog. Nobody cares. <laughs> all right, uh, coming up in just a couple of minutes, uh, how this woman... Old woman, 104 year old woman, beat the coronavirus. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Hey, honey, how are the taxes going? Pretty good. Let's see. We either get $800 back or we owe four grand. Hmm. I think we should call H&R Block. Let's face it, taxes can be confusing and the laws seem to change every year. Let the professionals at your local H&R Block take the worry out of your tax season. H&R Block in Dillsburg, Newville, Biglerville, Fairfield, and Gettysburg have been owned by the same family for over 50 years. And they've been there for every tax law change along the way. Don't leave money on the table. File your taxes confidently with H&R Block. Everyone is going through something right now and we're all in this together. That's why CBD American Shaman of PA is looking out for you and your health. During this trying time, CBD American Shaman of PA is focused on safety and the needs of their customers. That's why right now they're offering curbside pickup along with home deliveries. Let American Shaman help you manage these stressful times. To find out how to get high quality CBD products and a free bottle of Shaman cleansing gel without even leaving your car or home, visit hempishealth.com. 
Amazon.com. Do you love saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy, no websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. During this time, many are out of work and struggling just to get by. It's good to know that your friends at Capital City Buy and Sell in Harrisburg have your back. If you're in need of extra help during the pandemic, you can pawn or sell unwanted or unneeded items that you may have laying around your house, including jewelry, electronics, tools, musical instruments, and a whole lot more. Capital City Buy and Sell is open seven days a week, and they're always paying cash. Plus, they have low pawn interest and terms if you aren't quite ready to say goodbye to your item just yet. Capital City Buy and Sell, 3517 Walnut Street, Harrisburg. Online at harrisburgpapawn.com. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. And we're back for more fun. Uh, it's Puff and Zoe, apparently. Hi, Zoe. You're blocking your whole mom. What's up? <laughs> she likes to do that. I can tell. A <laughs> uh, 104-year-old woman beat COVID-19. How does she do it? Well, she lives in Brooklyn, New York. She's lived through the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic and both world wars. Plus, she survived stage four melanoma, two broken hips, an infection that affects the colon, and now the coronavirus. Oh my gosh, God bless her. What kind of water is she drinking? Oh, Steph. Red <laughs> wine. That's what she's drinking. No. Uh. Yeah, Ida got COVID-19 in late March, but by the end of April, she was very chatty once again and doing fine. According to her daughter, the secret to her mom's longevity is a glass of red wine and an apple every single day. Wow. Okay, I can get down with that. Yeah. Way to go, Ida. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, Netflix subscribers are averaging three plus hours of streaming per day. Wow. Right now. You know what? I'm kind of surprised it's not more. I guess if people are working from home, maybe they're putting in like eight hours of work and then they're watching all evening. Right. Do you, I mean, what you say you and your mom are binging desperate housewives. Do you watch a show a day? Um, we pretty much watch every night and it's, we try to get at least two episodes in a night. So that's a couple hours, like, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a couple hours, but that's through Hulu. So I bet people are streaming more often, but now there's so many because Amazon Prime and Disney Plus. So there's probably a lot across all the channels. Right. Uh, so now I'm going to hold on. I'm going to drop the music. Steph is holding Zoe for two very important reasons. One, to help the groundhog live because Zoe was going to destroy the groundhog. <laughs> And two, to talk about a very serious thing that happened over the weekend, we could have lost Zoe. Yes, it was a rough weekend. So um, we are now at the point of this quarantine where Zoe sits at the table with us when we eat dinner. Kind of like what she's and doing right now. Yeah, she, okay. she sits in a chair. She's actually very well behaved. She sits like a human and just sits there. And you can judge me for that all you want. The dogs run this house and that's the way it is. <laughs> um, so we had fruit salad for dessert and she had eaten half of a grape. And we didn't really think anything of it. Like she really likes blueberries and almonds for some reason. So she had a blueberry and then she had half a grape. And then my brother said, wait, I don't think grapes are good for dogs. So he Googled it and he was like, they're saying that it causes like kidney... It was kidney or liver? Kidney. Kidney. That it causes like kidney disease or kidney failure in dogs. Oh my god. We have to get her to, we have to get her to throw it up. And I thought he was joking, like, because it seems very drastic. He's like, No, I'm serious. That's what it says online. So then I called the ER vet and the girl was like, Yeah, you need to get her to throw it up. If you want to bring her in here, we can get her to throw up, or you can do it with hydrogen peroxide. And I was really worked up about this. And I started crying because the vet was like, yeah, you need to get her to throw it up. So it made it seem really urgent. So then we had to go out and get hydrogen peroxide. And if you've never had to make your dog throw up, you are lucky because it was awful. We had to like pour it down her throat. Oh, man. And then, oh, I felt so bad. Um, and then it, it worked really quickly. And she threw it up. And then I had to sift through the vomit to make sure that the grape was in there. Um, or else there was no point to all of this. Right. That's, a, lo that's a loving there. dog mom is sifting through your dog's vomit. 
on a Saturday night, you know? Um, it's, it's a wild life. So I was like, we have a grape, everybody. And then we were all very relieved. But I just, with all the like dog people that I have been friends with and I'm friends with on Facebook, I couldn't believe that I didn't know that grapes were so bad for dogs before. Um, so don't feed your dogs grapes, people. It's scary. I, I do think that she probably would have been fine. Um, it was half a grape. And it was the only one she's ever eaten. I think over time, if they have grapes, maybe it does damage. Or maybe uh, like, or maybe like a, 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 was it a bushel of grapes? A gaggle of grapes? What is it? Like a, a, a group, a group of grapes? Like if she has a bunch at once. Right. Or right. if, if she, eat, or if she eats that plant she's trying to eat right now. Or if she eats <laughs> that flower. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So it was really, really scary. Like she has a sensitive stomach as it is. So. I was very worried about her, but she's all good now, huh? No more grapes. <laughs> well, I was, I hadn't heard from you in a while. We were talking back and forth and I hadn't heard from you in a while. And then like, I was like, Hey, how's your day been? And then I got the story. I was like, Oh no, here's, I don't want to seem like I'm better than you, but I knew that dogs can't have grapes. H how did you know that? I think it was one of those things where Mugatu eats everything. Right. So we had looked it up. What's really bad for dogs to eat and grapes and raisins were on that list. See, that's so crazy to me. And the funny thing is that they can't eat a fruit that's healthy for humans, but they're like, no, instead pour hydrogen peroxide down the dog's throat <laughs> and that's okay. Cause it bubbles, like, like it bubbles and mixes with the stomach acid and forces it out, I guess. Right. Right. It, I mean, it did work. How did you awful. do it? Did you just keep, like, keep your mouth open and pour it in? Did you have a funnel? Like, how did that work? Um, they say to use a syringe, but we didn't have one. We had this little, like, medicine, like, spoon. So we put it in there, and then oh. we had to mouth open and pour it in. It was terrible. Is she eating the plant I, again? She is. Those are Mother's Day flowers. Are, are, they, <laughs> are those okay for her to eat? Probably not. See, she eats everything. Zoe, you can't take do you have a death wish? Cut it out. <laughs> Your mom wants you around for a long time, all right? I'm sure you Perfect. get fed. I'm going to go ahead and say you probably get fed plenty. In she house. gets fed a lot. Yeah. She's very spoiled. <laughs> Man, what's a dog trying to do to you? I know. So I just, I really wanted to do that, like, as a PSA for dog people, because I wish I had known that. Right. Well, that's very responsible. Using your platform to do good things. Thank you. It's never a bad thing. Uh, coming up in just a couple of minutes, how this guy broke in and has been living at Disney. We'll tell you about it next. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Hey, honey, how are the taxes going? Pretty good. Let's see. We either get $800 back or we owe four grand. Hmm. I think we should call H&R Block. Let's face it, taxes can be confusing and the laws seem to change every year. Let the professionals at your local H&R Block take the worry out of your tax season. H&R Block in Dillsburg, Newville, Biglerville, Fairfield, and Gettysburg have been owned by the same family for over 50 years. And they've been there for every tax law change along the way. Don't leave money on the table. File your taxes confidently with H&R Block. Everyone is going through something right now, and we're all in this together. That's why CBD American Shaman of PA is looking out for you and your health. During this trying time, CBD American Shaman of PA is focused on safety and the needs of their customers. That's why right now they're offering curbside pickup along with home deliveries. Let American Shaman help you manage these stressful times. To find out how to get high quality CBD products and a free bottle of Shaman cleansing gel without even leaving your car or home, visit hempishealth.com. Do you love CBD? Saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy, no websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. During this time, many are out of work and struggling just to get by. It's good to know that your friends at Capital City Buy and Sell in Harrisburg have your back. 
If you're in need of extra help during the pandemic, you can pawn or sell unwanted or unneeded items that you may have laying around your house, including jewelry, electronics, tools, musical instruments, and a whole lot more. Capital City Buy and Sell is open seven days a week, and they're always paying cash. Plus, they have low pawn interest and terms if you aren't quite ready to say goodbye to your item just yet. Capital City Buy and Sell, 3517 Walnut Street, Harrisburg. Online at harrisburgpapawn.com. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. I don't know if you would be down for this or not because it's Disney, but it's kind of not Disney. I'll explain. Uh, a Florida man is facing trespassing charges after security found him last Thursday camping on Walt Disney World's Discovery Island. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, and I didn't know anything about Discovery Island, the island sits in Disney World's large lagoon. It was formerly a, b- a bird preserve where visitors could look at flamingos and cockatoos, but it was closed to the public, what, almost 20 years ago? And now it just kind of sits there. The man was spotted on the property, and uh, Orange County deputies searched for him on foot. So they all got on the island. Then they did it by helicopter. And then they did it by boat before finally making contact with him. Wow, he's stealthy. They couldn't even find him. When deputies told him that he'd been, uh, or they'd been using a loudspeaker to address him, apparently they were like on a boat going, we know you're in there. You're having too much Disney fun. You probably didn't pay some sort of uh, admittance fee. You have to get out here. The Disney season pass does not cover this. (laughs) Um, they've been using a loudspeaker to address him. He said he didn't hear them because he was sleeping inside one of the buildings on the island. (laughs) Sorry, I was sleeping. (laughs) Which he referred to as a, quote, tropical paradise. He loved it in there. Wow, this guy's living life. He doesn't care about Corona. He told deputies he was not aware the property was off limits. That has got to be a lie. And that he'd been camping there since Monday or Tuesday. So he, he stayed for about a week on the island. Wow. So he had to probably like jump some sort of a fence to get there. And then he's going to be like, I didn't know I couldn't. Did you see the no trespassing signs? Yeah, I can't read. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I, no, I don't know what you're talking about. They're right there. You didn't hear us when we were yelling at you through loudspeakers? Yeah, no. Yeah. I was asleep. We were, <laughs> Passed we're, out cold. You're lucky we got you. We were about to send Mickey after you. Like, Not Mickey. Ho-ho, coming to get you. Ho-ho. <laughs> Mickey would be disappointed in this guy. He would be. He would be. Um, an upscale hipster in Ohio, just south of Cleveland, uh, is posting fake handmade street signs with um, naughty genital nicknames around town. Ew, but why? they're not. They're but- not like. It, what's funny is, is it's got to be a kid, because they're not like cringy nicknames. They're like snicker funny nicknames like uh the intersection there's one that, that was on the intersection of fairfield and wiener street <laughs> see exactly exactly you didn't you were you weren't grossed out you didn't go ew you didn't do any of that stuff wiener street i had to laugh at it i'm sorry several street signs were covered over with handmade signs uh there was like dong boulevard <laughs> <laughs> And there's actually one, I'm pretty sure, that exists here in in Pennsylvania. And that's like Beaver Street. I'm pretty wow. sure there's like a there's like a Beaver Street somewhere around here. Yeah, I bet there is. Well, we have Beaver Ca- County. Beaver, right. Is it a county? So, yeah. So there you go. Uh, the Vandal will presumably have something uh, more urgent to occupy their time when the pandemic is over. Police are just kind of like letting it go until it, everything is over. And they're hoping that the, the dude just... Because it's a guy. They're hoping that the, that the guy just kind of stops doing it. Right. Come on, man. Grow up. <laughs> Jeez, it's not even funny. <laughs> Wiener Street. <laughs> 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 See? It's you fun. know what? <laughs> it's it is. You have to laugh at it. That's just this a funny guy's word. probably. Yeah. He's probably just so bored during this like whole quarantine. And he's probably just some like young guy who wants to just have dumb humor. <laughs> Dong Avenue. All right. Um, according to a recent survey, time to some Steph, almost half of married couples do this separately. Almost half. 
So almost 50-50 split. Do this separately, what is it? It's not sleeping, is it? No. It's, so it's something that like you would expect couples to do together? Um, not necessarily do together, but <sighs> share in, if that makes sense. Like, like you don't do it with your significant other per se, but you help them with theirs and they help them with yours. Is it like finances? Nope. Uh, my wife and I are one of these 50%. We don't do this together. Taxes? Nope. That's a good guess though. No. Thank you. It's an act. It's kind of an activity. It's a, it's a, it's something you do. For each other. Not necessarily for each other. Is it something that everybody does? Yes. Ooh. Whether you're single or not. At least I hope you do it. Brushing their teeth. <laughs> Sharing I... a different bathroom. They have individual bathrooms. That's, that's, that's a better answer than brush your teeth. No. Don't make fun of my answer. I, all I could picture was me leaning over and brushing Laura's teeth. That's, that's, no. all, that's all I could pick. I know that's not what you meant, but that was what <laughs> that's what popped in my head. Like like the right. couple the you ever see the couple where they drink glass of wine together and they cross their arms? That's what I could think, but only we're like brushing our teeth together. No, I just I just picture being married someday and having a double sink and you brush your teeth together in the morning and no, it's a fairy tale. That's, that's not, what I, I picture. Okay, I get what you mean. Okay, no, that's not that. It's, um, it's a fairy tale. Is it, is it something you do every day? No. How often do you do it? I'd say once a week. And it's something that some couples help each other with? Um, yeah, sometimes there's one person who does this, like a designated person in the house that does this. Oh, is it like something like around like cleaning or like dishes? Yeah, it's something like cleaning. Ooh. And they do it separately. Oh, laundry. Nice. I take care of mine. She takes care of hers. You guys do your laundry separately? Yeah. There's no, like, wow. See, I've always just done everybody in the house because we have a really big washer. So it just makes sense to throw it all in together. That's nice. Yeah. Like, no, she'll be like, hey, I'm washing something. Do you need something washed? And I'm always like, no, I'm good. I'm fine. I got my own. I'm a big boy. Take care of myself. Uh, okay, men are more likely to do this at work. Women are more likely to do it while using a smartphone or tablet. Men are more likely to do this at work. Women are more likely to do it using a smartphone or tablet. What is this? Um, do men do it on a smartphone or tablet? I'm sure that happens, but they're more likely to do it at work. Like on a on a desktop computer, you mean? No, 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 no. They're just this activity. They're more likely to do at work. Women are more likely to do it while they use a smartphone or tablet. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I gotcha. Um. So it's something you do on the internet. No, no. Don't don't think about think about. They're doing it while they're using. The two are not connected. Oh, so men do this while they're in the workplace and women just do it while they're on their phone or something. Right. Okay. Right. Mm. I would say you probably do it in front of the TV. Is it like balancing a checkbook? You don't have. Is it something? You don't have a checkbook, so I don't. I don't have a checkbook, <laughs> but I do go through. I do go through my credit card receipts. Um, is that something you do? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And when do you do it? All the time. Eating. <laughs> <laughs> when you said all the time, all I could think of was our last music video <laughs> where you were like eating right in front of the computer. <laughs> oh, I knew that was gonna give it away. <laughs> <laughs> when do you, when when do I don't do it? <laughs> I did not mean for that to be insulting. No, no when it's you not. Said that, it's not insulting. Well, when you said it, it just all clicked in my head that it made sense all the way around. <laughs> You're fine. It's not insulting. I'm just gonna go and take a walk, probably cry a little bit. I'll just walk down to Wiener Street and come back. 
what but what about uh dong avenue uh, that's too far that's way too long all right. Ha, ha. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Enjoy your day. It's the podcast. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. 